hey you guys what's up hey girl hey it is your girl tash welcome back to my channel so for today's video guys we're gonna be doing something a little bit different first of all i teased you guys a while ago with a collection of my current bath and body works collection i'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip here all right y'all don't mind the lighting i just wanted you to see this is a pretty deep box this is ridiculous and this is one of the reasons I have not gone through my Bath and Body Works collection. This is um, soaps and lotions in this bin here. And it's pretty full. So it's ridiculous, I know. But just one moment. Don't mind the mess. Those are my brushes and I'm cleaning out one of my closets. So over here, that's one of my spray bins. Um, I have a couple more on my desk over there and there's a lotion in there but this is why i have not gone through my actual collection because it's just too much now mind you there's stuff in the shower and stuff downstairs in the bathroom and throughout the house because i'm a bath and body works junkie but i just wanted you guys to know i'm not ignoring you i haven't forgotten it's just too much to go through so here's all of my sprays and i'll leave you a list of the scents down in the description box and this is the lotions and body washes that go with said sprays. So, <laughs> let's go on and get back to the haul. So, I think it was last week or the week before, they had their signature buy three, get three free. So, y'all know your girl went shopping. Roll the clip so we can get into it, boo. guys so we're gonna go ahead and get into some items that I picked up some of these items are literally just because I'm obsessed with layering the scents I like to have the mist the body wash and the lotion so yeah not in that particular order but I'm obsessed with that so I'm gonna try to pick out the products that I picked to go with other mist or other products that I already have and then I'm gonna get into the newer scents that are new to me that I tried out so the first two are In The Stars. This has become one of my favorite scents to wear. It's just got this really pretty, I wanna say sexy smell to it. It's like grown and sexy. And it's it has um, starflower, sandalwood, or excuse me, starflower, sandalwood musk, sugar, tangelo, white argwood, and radiant amber. And I love sandalwood, I love amber. This smells so good. Every time I wear this, you know Nick can't keep his hands off me. <laughs> so that's the first one. And I actually discovered that scent last year, I believe it was. So really, really enjoying that. Two more products that I picked to go with products that I already have. And actually, I don't think I meant to buy the Bob Mist for this one. This is Into the Night. This is another grown and sexy smell. Oh, you guys, I love this. It smells so good. This one has raspberry Nior, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. And it just smells so good. Every time I wear this, somebody is telling me that I smell good. So, love this. The next one is actually, again, products that I picked to go up with something else that I have, like the mist. So this is the Black Cherry Merlot a Body Lotion and Shower Gel. Love the packaging, so pretty. I've already busted into this one, um, <laughs> and it smells really good. So I don't know what the actual keynotes are in this one, guys. The packaging doesn't say on these, but just know that it smells a lot like Black Cherry with a little bit of like sugary sweetness in there. And if you like sweet smells, you'll definitely, definitely enjoy this. The next one I picked up to, oh, go with products that I already have is A Thousand Wishes. And I have gone through so many sets of A Thousand Wishes. It's again, one of those grown and sexy smells in my opinion. And to me, you just cannot go wrong with this. This one has Pink Presco Sparkling Quince, uh, Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Cream. If you guys can't tell, I truly, truly love the scent of amber. Anything with amber in it, I'm usually obsessed with. Now, I don't really care for their amber blush uh, fragrance that they have, but this, oh my gosh, it smells so yummy. So, yeah. I actually have a couple of the mist on hand, so... 
All right. So one of the scents that is actually a retired scent that I picked up that I've actually never tried before is Black Amethyst. So I did pick up their fragrance mist and somehow forgot the lotion, but I did pick up the shower gel. So this one is peony petals, sweet sandalwood, patchouli, and creamy amber. So there we go with the sandalwood and amber again. But to me, this smells really good. Whew, it's, again, something about amber and sandalwood, it just meshes well with my skin and like my body chemistry. And it just always smells so, so, so good on me. So really excited to try these. So uh, I picked up three new scents to try and one of them is Champagne Toast. Now I know that a lot of people love this scent for a candle. I had to pick this up for the bath and body you guys. This is so good. It smells like tangerine, but like really sweet. And I don't remember the other notes that are in it, but this to me just smells so yummy and feminine and fresh. It, it's amazing. So I did pick up their fragrance mist and I got the lotion and the shower gel. So sorry guys, I don't know the exact notes that are in here. I do know it has tangerine, but again, the packaging doesn't have it, so. Now, the last two fragrances that I picked up, I think are new. Um, one is Coconut Cream Pie. And this one has Toasted Coconut Flakes, Caramel Custard, and Golden Pie Crust. I picked it because of the caramel. I love anything with caramel in it. Do you say caramel or caramel? I notice I say both. Anyway, have you guys tried the new Coconut Cream Pie? It smells divine. So the last scent that I picked up is Strawberry Pound Cake. I got their uh, shower gel and the body lotion and the mist, of course. And this one has fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And it smells so good. To me, these all smell good. Now, I have had instances where I've actually picked things by reading the key notes in it. And it's like, I get it and I'm like, so I have four over there on my desk now that I think I'm going to take back because if you didn't know, if there's something that you try that you don't like, you can take it and exchange it for something else. So there's a lot of Bath and Body Works hacks. I don't personally know them all, but you can YouTube or Google them and, you know, you'll get some information on that. Now, I do want to say the reason that I picked up the body lotions, even though this was buy three, get three, is because in the summertime, I don't like to use the body creams because they're heavier. And then I feel like I go out, I sweat, and I get that heavy body cream on me. So I use the body creams in the wintertime and the body lotions in the spring and summer. So... I will tell you, if you are a fan of Bath and Body Works and you find it to be a little too expensive, here's my biggest piece of advice. I only buy when they have buy three, get three, and when I can get free shipping. If I don't have the opportunity to also get free shipping in that, I'm heading to the store, period. That's all there is to it. The best times to go are when the store first opens and when they're about to close. That way there's not too many people in there, you know, with the pandemic and everything going on. A lot of us try not to go to the store, so those are the two best times to go. But what I did, I went a little overboard because, well, I haven't shopped there in a while. So I bought nine and I got nine free. So just remember, every three that you buy, you're going to get three free. And you're going to pay for the most expensive thing, which is now their body mist. Some of these are $15.50, which I think is absolutely crazy. I remember when these were like $12. <sighs> But nonetheless, you can still get a bunch of items free, which I did. So those are my, like, that's my biggest recommendation for you is wait when they have that sale. So what are two of your favorite scents from Bath and Body Works? What are you looking forward to trying? And what is your signature scent that you will rock all year long? All right, guys, I can't wait to chat with you down in the comments. If you are new here, what's up? My name is Tosh. I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button before you leave today. And of course, I want to tell you guys, thank you so much as always for taking time out of your busy days to come hang out with me i hope you guys are staying safe out there i love you so so much oh before i go please don't forget to hit that like button it only takes a second i'll see you guys in the next one bye